hello everyone let's take a look at this problem quickly and i'm going to solve this problem in two ways we have square root of 3x over x equals 6. i think one of the simplest methods you can use is the cross multiplication method so that you have from x multiplied by 6 or by the way root x um root 3x multiplied by 1 will give us um root 3x and that will be equal to x multiplied by 6 which is 6x now what do i do again let's remove the square root as we square both sides then we have 6x to the power of 2 square root and square can go and then we have 3x that is equal to 6 squared. By the way, hope you know that um, 6x in bracket to the power of 2 is 6x multiplied by 6x. Okay, so we have 3x which is equal to 6 times 6. We have 36. x times x, we have x squared. And um, remember that the one with the highest power is expected to be written down first. So I'm going to write 3, okay, that's 36. 36x to the power of 2 equals 3x, which is um 36x to the power of 2 minus 3x equals 0. And if you must know, this is a quadratic, exp um, a quadratic equation. Because of this power of 2, the presence of a variable x and the equal sign, Okay, so these are the three things that um, make a quadratic equation. The variable x, the power 2, and the equal sign. Now, we can use factorization method for this because 3 can be found in 36 and it's found in 3 over there. So, 3 is a factor. Then here we have, 30, we have x as well. So, 3x is now the common factor. 3 into 36 will give us 12. Then 1x is left over there. Minus the whole of 3x is out. But 3x into 3x will give 1. Close this and equate to 0. From here we can apply um, 0 product rule. So it is either 3x is equal to 0. Or 12x minus 1 is equal to 0. So 3x from here is equal to 0 over 3 or 12x is equal to 1. Um, okay, we are dividing this by 3, right? Divide both sides by 3 so that this will go with this. Now, x from here is equal to 0 over 3. And 0 over 3 is 0. Or on this side, we divide both sides by 12. So x will be alone and we'll be having 1 over 12 which is um, the value of x on the other side therefore we have x to be 0 or 1 over 12 but i told you i was going to use two methods to deal with this so let's apply the second method whether we'll get the same value for x okay second method okay we still have square root of 3x over x to be equal to 6 now i can apply um indices one of the laws of indices here so that we <clears throat> we have um from here we have square root of um this this means that we have 3x to the power of 1 over Two. And then this is all over over x, right? This is equal to 6. Okay, so what do I do from here? Remember that this is the same thing as um, square root of 3. You know, I can separate this and have 3 to the power of 1 over 2 multiplied by x to the power of 1 over 2. And this will now be over x and it's equal to 6 
this is interesting right so from here this 3 to the power 1 over 2 is t square root of 3 alone so you can decide to write it like that then multiply by this is to the power of 1 and we have the same base so we write x then we're going to subtract the powers which will be 1 over 2 minus 1 and this is still equal to 6 to continue we have square root of 3 multiply by x to the power of 1 over 2 minus 1 will give us minus 1 over 2 and this is equal to 6 then since we are multiplying this and this we can decide to divide by root 3 and then divide this by root 3 this is going to go with this right so that x to the power of negative 1 over 2 is equal to 6 over square root of 3 and this square root of 3 is a non-rational number and we do not expect it to be the denominator so we need to rationalize the right hand side so that we have x to the power of 1 over 2 to be equal to 6 over root 3 multiplied by root 3 over root 3 this is how you rationalize what you have here will multiply itself and the top so we have x to the power of 1 over 2 which is going to be equal to 6 multiplied by root 3 is 6 root 3 over root 3 times root 3 will give root 9 and that is a perfect square x to the power of 1 over 2 negative 1 over 2 is equal to 6 root 3 over square root of 3 square root of 9 is 3 now 3 can go there so that we have 2 so x to the power of 1 over 2 negative 1 over 2 is equal to 2 root 3 now how do we proceed from here we need to remove this power which is um 1 over 2 right negative 1 over 2 so we have x to the power of negative 1 over 2 then to remove a power you multiply it by its reciprocal and the reciprocal is negative 2 and that could be 2 over 1 if you want then on the right the reciprocal here will, re will reflect so we have 2 root 3 to the power of negative 2 okay so that this negative 2 will cancel these two or two will cancel um, negative will cancel negative and two will cancel two so that x from here will be equal to two multiplied by three root three to the power of negative two now let's do away with the negative there so we have x that is equal to we have from um, one over two root three okay then to the power of 2 but mind you 1 squared is still 1 so we have x to be equal to 1 squared is 1 over 2 squared 2 squared will give us 4 and then root 3 to the power of 2 this can now cancel that we multiply this by 3 so this would give us 1 over 12 and that is what we got from the first um, method from the me from the first method we got x to be equal to 0 or 1 over 12 but then from the second method we have x to be equal to 1 over 12 and that is the only solution from the second method but which of this is more satisfying the equation is square root of 3x over square root of okay over x equals 6 this is um the equation if we put 0 here you will discover that you will be dividing whatever you have at the top by 0 and that is undefined meaning that x to be equal to 0 does not satisfy the equation so it is only x to be equal to 1 over 2 that satisfies and from here the second method gives only the satisfying solution
thank you for watching if you love this subscribe to my channel for more videos like this